Today I'm going to be showing you how you can insert multimedia, such as video and images, into your Google Forms. This can be really helpful for ELA and math. Uh, for ELA, when you're hitting on those standards that ask students to compare multimedia and text, to compare and contrast them together, um, and a lot of times this will show up on PARC as well. Um, for math, if you're creating a math Google Form, you could include different math tutorial videos that um, meet the students where they're at and help support them at their level along with whatever quiz you're creating or activity in your form. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my drive and I'm going to create a brand new Google Form. And I'm going to be basing this off of a sixth grade ELA module. Um, regarding the Steve Jobs text, Thinking Differently. So for now, I'm just going to title it that. But I'm going to have this be similar to a writing prompt for students. So in my first question, I'm just going to actually list the question. How did Steve Jobs think differently throughout his lifetime? I'm going to set this to paragraph. I'm going to set it as required so the students have to answer. And I'm also going to include a hint text to remind students to please view the image and videos completely before constructing your response. Um, at this point, I probably would have already had them read a section of text from the book, and now I want them to compare that to um, different videos from the ELA pacing guide regarding Steve Jobs <clears throat> and an image that I'm going to include as well. So to add multimedia, um, I can add an image right here on this sidebar or I can add a video. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is add an image. Now I have many different options for inserting images. I can upload my own image, I could take a snapshot of myself, I could put a URL in, um, your own albums, maybe I have pictures loaded up on Google Drive already. For this one I'm going to do a search, just a Google image search. I've already kind of looked through here so I have an idea of which one I want to do. I'm going to include this one, it's an inspiring quote that kind of shows how Steve Jobs thought differently that might provoke the student's thought process. So I will check it. I'll click select, this blue button, and then my image is part of my form. I can give it a title if I want, I can center it, align it how I want to. If you need to go back and change it, you can do that. Um, I'm just going to leave this as is. And now I'm going to add two videos that are uh, from the section of the pacing guide that I want students to watch as well. So now I'm going to go to the same sidebar, except this time I'll select Add Video. I can do a video search in YouTube directly from my form, or I can paste in a URL. Um, for this first one, I'll show you how to paste in a URL. I just copy and pasted this from the pacing guide. So I already copied it. I'm going to paste it. And this is a Thinking Differently ad. It's an Apple ad that Steve Jobs created that he refers to in the book. I'm going to select it. And again, it's now part of my form. I can align it however I want. Uh, for this, I will title it since we talked about it while we were reading the book together. And I'm going to add one more video that we'd also discussed and that's in my pacing guide so I'll go again to add video. Uh, but this time I don't have the URL, I forgot to copy it, so I'm going to do a simple video search. I know that this is the Steve Jobs Stanford commencement address that he gave. So I have many different options here, you can even go through and watch them before you pick them or go on YouTube and watch it beforehand. Uh, but I know that I'm looking for this 2005 commencement address, so I'm going to select it and then select it again here at the bottom. And again, it is part of my form.
and I will give this a title. And that's all the multimedia that I'm going to add into my form. Um, if you can, if you want, you can you know change the placement of this. You can move it around. You could duplicate these if you wanted to. If you want to get rid of it entirely, you can delete it. I mean, there you have more options here. Uh, but I like how this looks right now. If I did want to see what it would look like for the students, since right now I have it in the editing version, I can click on the eyeball and I can preview it. So this is what it would look like when the students are actually taking it. So they can view the image, they can watch the videos right in the form, um, they can watch it here. And then if they want to, they can enlarge it or they, they could go um, this program right to is brought to you as well. And those are the basics of inserting multimedia into a Google form. Thanks for watching.